Greetings! I am Herbert Erpadurp, and today I'm going to complete these hills I put together a couple of weeks ago. Here's a link to that video. Now this is going to be fairly simple. I start by applying a couple of layers of Artist's Acrylic Burnt Umber. Obviously you don't want to waste your good model paint on large areas of terrain like this. This Artist's Acrylic is cheap and can be found just about anywhere. The results don't have to be perfectly solid brown, but I tried to get as even a coat as I could. Next, I mixed some of the burnt umber with white artist's acrylic paint and brushed on a rough sort of highlighting. This isn't exactly needed, but I like to add the variety of colour under the grass just in case it's visible. These pieces are going to be a little bit experimental. As with most of my videos, this is more of a what I did rather than an instructional video, but I usually have a good idea of how things will work. This time, I wasn't entirely sure. What I did next was to thin some black oil based paint and make kind of a wash. I very liberally brushed it all over the exposed cork areas. I figured this would create dark shadows when I add the colours over the top. It seems to soak into the cork pretty well. The result looks kind of like mud, but I wasn't sure how much I liked it. Next, I took my airbrush and from a high angle above the pieces, I sprayed light coats of Vallejo Model Air Burnt Umber, Mud Brown, and then Light Brown. I wasn't entirely satisfied, so I slathered on some very thin oil-based burnt sienna. I don't think it made a huge difference, but it did add a little bit more variety to the brown. Now for the messy part, adding grass. I give the hillsides a good coating of PVA glue, and then spread it around with a brush I don't care about. It doesn't have to be perfect coverage, I think leaving some gaps as patches of exposed dirt looks good. Next, I take my static grass applicator and apply a mix of various shades and lengths of green static grass. I really like the static grass applicator. I found this one on eBay and it wasn't too expensive. You just connect the alligator clip to the gluey surface, press the button and shake the applicator above where you want the grass, and bam, nice grass that stands up. It was a little bit tricky to get the grass along the very front of the piece to stand up, but otherwise I think it looks quite good. Turn the piece over and tap the excess grass off and that's about it. Not too bad, I think. The only problem now is the PVA glue leaves a shiny surface under the grass. Mixing some matte varnish with the glue could fix that, but I've decided to just hit it with some matte varnish from my airbrush, and that works well enough. It's not entirely perfect, and there are still some very tiny shiny bits, but I would consider these complete now. I could probably do a bit more detailing on the dirt, but for my purposes what I have is enough. These were just intended to be a quick and easy way to get some nice small hills with a little bit more interest than your average lump of plain green grass. These are just the right size for flames of war tanks to hide behind, and you could probably use them as cover for bolt action infantry as well. I hope this has been helpful or interesting for you. I'd love to see any comments you might have below. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll leave you with a couple of small scenes I created with these hills. Thanks for watching. Farewell.